everyone um welcome to another um video now you haven't missed the first part i have already started this picture but i really wasn't sure what to record for you and i was having so much fun with this page and i was really in the mood for continuing with it so i thought i would do a few elements with you i thought it'd be fun now this is from um millie Morotta's wildlife wonders now this is a compilation book so you may have this picture in another book of hers she has um i've got a list here of the names of the it's just called plants leaves and seed pods so i've just been able to color it whatever colors i like really um i don't know if that's supposed to be a seed pod but i just did it in really bright colors and we're going to do some other and bright colored bits and pieces on the page now i'm using my derwent chroma flow and they work really nicely on this paper which is um i know i sound a bit surprised i'm just going to shut the blind while i'm talking to try and get rid of that um little bit of light there we go it's coming across the page because it will come over as we color possibly um but it's really enjoying using the derwent chroma flow on this paper and uh, I was sort of in the mood for only using a small amount of colours and my Derwent's, um, I've got 24, so it wasn't too much choosing, which wasn't what I was in the mood to do. So I'm going to come in a bit closer. I can talk a little bit about what I've, I could show you in more detail, the ones that I've done already. You can see I've done some sort of orange-yellow combos, pinks and purples, some nice blues and things. And we'll probably um, come in and do this one. Now, my thinking with this one is I've only got three greens in my set, which should be plenty. But we've got green and brown leaf here. We've got a lot of greens here. So I'm thinking I might do this leaf in browns rather than greens and make it look more, well, we'll see how it goes. I'm actually decided I'm going to start with my natural brown, which is number 21, and do these sorts of round bits let's come in a bit more for you i think that's it i'm just checking that's in focus i think i hope so let me see it's easier to tell with writing if it's in focus that's in focus right so i'm going to go in a little darker here near the stem and then just reduce the layers to make it lighter at the end and that's the sort of technique I've been using throughout the picture. It's my sort of normal thing, isn't it? But I just love the way they go down on this paper. Um, sometimes I find with Derwent pencils, they need a bit of blending. I mean, Derwent do send, sell a blender, a blending pencil and um, blending fluid, actually, um, in a pen. So there's plenty of blending options for Derwent, but it's nice um, to not always have to blend. You don't always, it just, it's an extra, whoops, miles out of the line. It's an extra sort of layer of work to do. Um, so if you, you know, it's quite nice sometimes not to. And I don't think I've used any Derwent pencils on Millie books, because I've got these and... I've got the um, light fast. Oh gosh, my computer is, uh, my fan is screaming. <laughs> I'm editing a video um, and, uh, well, exporting, I've done the editing bit. And uh, it's getting a bit, uh, yeah, moody at me. But, uh, so that is those. I think they look like little seed pods within a, a plant. Now we've got quite, the lightest green is being used for these leaves, but um, I'm wondering about this, hmm, I think I'll do the stem, I'll just keep that out for you, um, I'm just looking at what I've got, I've got this some um, raisin colour, it's quite a reddish brown, um, I'm, I think I'm, that, it might be that there, but we're going to try it. And we can always go over it with something if it looks a little bit too similar to other colours. So I'm going to do a hard layer up the middle, fade it towards the tip, and I'm going to sort of fade it towards the end of each of these little veins, I guess. I don't really know. 
like that. I don't I doubt you can hear my uh, computer, but it's uh, going a bit mad. When I have a big export, it's. Uh, but I've been doing a few larger um, videos for my members. Um, so you can join my channel and pay for membership if you want to uh, sort of support me in a different way. Although I appreciate all support, whether it's just likes, comments, subscri subscriptions, those are very, very useful and very good. And obviously free. But um, YouTube have been trying to, you know, say get people to join. So um, what I do for the members is I take... A series of videos. Say, for, say if I did this page and I did every element in a video, I won't be because obviously I've done some already. I would put them all together in a compilation video and generally release it early. So if I've got, say, a page where I've done three in three videos, three bits. I put them together into one compilation video and the members get that early so they get a sort of sneaky peek in a large I'm just trying to find an eraser in a large um, larger video and what that means is that nobody misses out everybody gets the content and the members just get it early and the reason I put it into a large compilation video the Sun's gone in it's getting dark is um, is because it then looks a little bit different so when the um, scheduled video comes out where there's all the different parts to it the members can see that it's something it isn't um, identical to what they've got I think it could be confusing otherwise this is called foliage and I'm gonna mm, no it's the same color as that nope <laughs> we're going to use this one this is the light green the grass green it's the one we've used here I'm going to use it here and if it looks too similar I can go over with something the moment I'm okay with it oh gosh someone's making a noise outside I think we'll be okay um, it's either a leaf blower or a strimmer or both <laughs> sometimes the council send out their um, people to come and uh, cut the grass verge <laughs> in our road hadn't done it for years and years um, and then suddenly they started doing it again I think partially um, because the council tax was frozen I think which is what pays for these things so they weren't councils weren't allowed to put up the tax for a number of years which meant they had to cut back on certain things and I think that was somewhere they cut back for a bit but now the council tax has gone up, so they've got more money. So, yeah, I mean, people complain about paying more, but if you pay more, you get more services. So it's a bit of a tricky one, isn't it? Obviously, it's expensive. People are, some people are struggling. And, uh, you know. But anyway, memberships, yeah, you can, it's basically a monthly thing. You pay four ninety nine a month and you just get videos a bit early so if you can't wait to for the videos to come out but I didn't want anybody to miss out on anything I thought it was unfair if I did something that meant that some people just wouldn't get anything or wouldn't get as much I didn't want to do that um, is something that you know we're told to offer it wasn't wasn't for me so that's that leaf and I'm going to do this sort of one here. Let's come out a little bit so we get it all in. See, I think that looks like a flower, so I'm going to do it in pinky purple colours because we haven't got much pinky purple on this bit of the page. Got the stem to do first though, and I'm going to use um, this colour, the basil. It's a slightly bluey green. I'm going to I'm zoomed out to show you that, and I'll come in closer to show you how I'm going to tackle the flower. Yes, yeah, so I don't really know how the membership works, whether they just take the money monthly and it's up to you to remember, or whether each month they prompt you and say, you can pay if you want to continue. I've not joined anyone else's channel, so I don't know how it all works. But um, as I say, no one's going to miss anything. I was really determined that I didn't want to discriminate against people who couldn't um, pay it because it's not fair in my head. Right, flower. Let's go for some... I haven't done anything in red. 
Mm, but there's a lot of orangey red here. Let, let's do my stick to my original plan and do some pinks. Pink and blue, maybe. Let's start with the pink. It's a this pink I'm choosing is called um, magenta. It's quite. I need to sharpen it. It's got quite short. This one. Some of these have got quite short. Their ones break quite easily. Um, I tend to find you need a really good sharpener you either need a new blade which I've got in mine or um, this one's gone wobbly or you need to use the Derwent sharpener now I was thinking I could do this every other one but um, let's do this one on the outside try and do it darker at the bottom and then lighter and then looks a bit different. What about that top one? I think I'll do it this colour. I'm being very indecisive. I'm slightly expecting the phone to ring soon. Um, my niece um, lives in the same town as my parents. She's at university in the town where they live. And they're helping her clean out her student accommodation she and one other person are the only people left living there and they need to get it all clean and tidy so they can get their deposit back now this one I'm going to go here and so um, they're um, going quite early over to her place to uh, to uh, help her out so I don't know if they're going to call me before they go or wait till they get back so uh, we'll see they used to usually phone me at lunch times, but I'm not sure if they're having lunch at her place so that they can sort of get on. I just realised I think that's symmetrical, so maybe I should have done that one that side. Never mind. I'm going to keep it the same through and everything on the left will be pink. I think this paper is a bit extra smooth and that might be why the Derwents look so good but I'm not entirely sure if that's the reasoning. Okay, so that's our first sort of bit with our pink and I think I'm going to go... Hmm, let's do blue next to the pink. Um, I'm going to do this one, it's called Baloo. I've also been recall putting together a few shorts for YouTube. It's another thing that YouTube are encouraging us makers, I suppose they call us, to do. So what I've done is I found some of my older videos that are quite short anyway and that um, can be turned around because shorts have to be in portrait and I also record in landscape because I use a camera. So I have to turn the film round for the short, which is fine, it, it works, on some. Like this, it might be a bit odd because this is the right way up. So if I turned it round, it might look strange. Or um, something like, oops, something like that, which is a room, if it was on its side, it would look a bit strange. So I've picked out a few and older ones and made them into shorts. Um, videos and I'm just going to pop them up from time to time I just think it's a bit of fun I absolutely love watching and they're sped up so they're basically a sort of 10 minute video in a minute and so I'm really fast I find them absolutely mesmerizing and fascinating but whether anybody else does I don't know but I may have put some out already I'm not sure um, how I'm going to time it yet I haven't quite decided I'm being really into. I'm in a funny mood today. I was sitting there flicking through book after book, thinking, "What video shall I make today?" And I kept thinking, "I really just want to colour this page that I'm in the middle of." And I thought, "I'll just make that into a video for you, and then I can chatter away and colour and have fun." I'm just, I don't know. I'm in a weird mood. Um, my son's usually home on a Tuesday, so I usually do admin -y type stuff and um, any other work I have, but. He's had to go into college for a meeting 
and he's there all day. So I've got a whole day. I thought, I've got a whole day to record. And I was sitting there thinking, I'm not really in the mood for doing, um, for continuing. Um, this is the lilac. Any of the pictures that I've started for videos and things like that. So uh, I was in a weird mood. But uh, I'm sort of tomorrow. Um, I'm going, I'm not going to be recording in the day at all. So I sort of put a lot of pressure on myself and thought I can do all day today and get lots done and uh, and then I was like oh. <laughs> so uh, so I just thought I just need to have fun which is what I'm doing it's what it's all about isn't it you don't want to me watch me colouring something I'm not enjoying it's really not going to be a fun video this is a very brightly coloured flower isn't it try and get some more colour at the bottom to uh, so we can really see the difference in colour. Now these top little bits, I had thought I would sort of continue each part, but I think it's the back of the flower. You know, this is the front and this is the sort of, I can't explain it. So I'm going to do it, do them all in the dark blue, which is called denim. And just do them all the same colour. I don't know how it's going to look until I'm done. So I'm going to use the same technique though, darker at the bottom and try and lighten as we go up. It's a bit tricky in this little space, but we'll do our best. So yeah, I spent, I was doing all sorts of put, making shorts this morning, I made about 10. And uh, then I was making this um, video for my members. So I was sort of in editing mode and then I thought I need to start recording. My husband was getting ready to leave and he's going, is editing feeling any better? I was like, <laughs> it's not really my thing. But I was sort of up for it, you know. I like that. It's really weird. It's not anything that would naturally grow. But I really like it. <laughs> How funny I am. Um, what should we do now? How are we doing for time? Let's do another one. Um... We let's do this this one. Now I'm trying to think of what colour. Mm, I know. We'll mix it up a little bit. Oof. We'll start with the basil um, and do the stem and a bit of the leaf and then we'll do something else. So I think for the stem I might not fade it. I might keep it quite a heavy layer all the way along put you in the middle so it's it's not always in focus if I'm not in the middle also you get a bit too much of my hand oh, I'm just going to move my pencils as a long minute there'll be a oh they're rolling the floor mustn't be straight in here there we go so I can just move you across there and now I've got room for my arm that's always good isn't it rather than putting my elbow down on a load of pencils it's not very comfortable <laughs> <laughs> so yeah I, I was sort of in editing mood and that sort of thing so I'm going to put a little touch here and just fade it quite quickly because I want to add in another colour I haven't decided what colour yet but we'll see I'll have a think in a minute so I've been planning my I'm trying to think about what I can do when we've got no kitchen and what meals I can do. It's very easy to do salads and even warm up frozen veg in the microwave. So that's so easy. And um, protein, um, I mean, carbs are easy, you know, breakfast cereals, toast, um, couscous, just hydrated with some water from the kettle. That's all so easy. It's getting protein is difficult because I struggle. I'm lactose intolerant. I don't like eating meat. I only eat very little fish, not really a lot. I can't eat eggs. <laughs> but I can eat beans, but I don't really like the idea of eating them cold. Um, like, um, but then I saw a recipe for chickpeas in a salad and I thought, you know, I think I could probably do that. I'm now deciding on my next colour. Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to do a little bit of grass green, but it's not going to be my final colour. So, 
going to go over the top of what we've done and just pull that colour up a bit, fade it towards the tip. So I was talking to my dad, he suggested tinned tuna. We have that about once a month, if that, because of the um, mercury and stuff in it. So I'm not sure. Smoked salmon I like, but I can't have that every day. It's a bit extravagant, isn't it? <laughs> but they did say they could lend us an induction hob so we could cook, but it would have to be in the sitting room. And I'm not really keen on the idea of cooking in my sitting room with all the grease and splashing, potentially. I'm not a clean cook. So, uh, hmm. We'll have to... Uh, I can freeze some roasted chickpeas with various flavourings on and that'll be nice. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to try and make it look a bit different to these little leaves that are everywhere. Could I do some yellow on the tip or would it be look better with a bit of brownie yellow? This is what I'm thinking. I think I'm going to go with the Golden Sun, which is a more browny yellow on the tips. I think it will just make it look a bit different. I'm going to start with that harder application on the actual tip and then just blend it down. So I'm sort of doing the reverse as I did with the darkest green. I'm not taking it too far down. My computer is still whirring. It was a good idea. I just set that exporting and I thought I have to go and record because um, I can't do anything else while it's doing that because um, it just takes up too much power I don't know the word on the computer and if I start fiddling around with anything else it it slows everything down or it crashes the whole thing my computer's quite powerful it doesn't crash too much but you know, if you want something to happen quickly, it's best not to interfere and do other things at the same time. It looks quite rainbow-like now. <laughs> I like it. So there we go. So that is the sort of three, three um, ones that we have done. I think I shall leave it there, though. It's... Uh, I can't show you the bottom of the stem of the... I think it looks like a tulip, but I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be. But anyway, I'm going to leave that there, but just a few different ideas for you, really. I hope that's okay. It's just a little bit different. I just wanted to come on and colour and chat, really, and, and not do very much. <laughs> and I don't feel like I did do very much, but I hope it was fun for you. So thank you for watching. Um, I hope that you have a lovely day. Um, as I say, I hope that was okay. And uh, happy colouring. <laughs>